And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, uh, the J.K. Rowling's first book. This will be the book review, not the, the movie. The, I actually enjoyed the movie. First two movies kind of fell off from there for me. But the book. The book, I honestly feel, the way you start, the absolute hook that ensnares the reader is the most important. If I could remember it to this day, I know it's good. It's basically, uh, what was it? Uh, Mr. Dursley. The Dursleys were such a, an ordinary family. Uh, thank you very much. Something like that. I, I always remember it just like now that I'm recording, I just can't think of it. But it's just like in the first, even the first sentence, you know something. You know that there's... The, this, this family values ordinariness as the norm, as excellence. Any, any imagination, anything at all is considered bizarre. Anything out. Uh, it is just like immediately you get a grasp of it all. And the way that she's able to write that makes you feel like you're in a fantasy world while you're still attached to your current world, I found to be unique. Yes, there are flaws in her entire genre, but I'm not going through that, her entire series. I'm not going through that. I'm just going through this book. This book is amazingly well done. It starts out, they seed a lot of little things throughout. They introduce stuff. I mean, they're, 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 it's just like the vanishing glass, the, the talking to the, the python. I mean, all this stuff is just like, okay, they're hinting a lot in the book. And you already know that something's going on when, they're, when Harry Potter's being dropped off. But the fact that you started with not the magic but just the dursleys such an ordinary family that hooked you in in the fact that he found everything that was going on around him that was strange that we as normal human beings would find magnificent you got a huge reading from that so i absolutely do respect how that was done it was just like okay we started out with the dursleys the dursleys uh, not harry potter not anything else we started out with them and as all the wizards were celebrating, we heard his perspective on it. Because it was just like, and the, the fact that he kept thinking about the potters, the potters. The start is the most key point in a book. If you can grasp the reader right there, you've got them hooked. That's it for me. It's just like I was grabbed and I knew immediately that I wanted to get to the very end. Get to the very end of the book. Uh, it, it's great because honestly the first time I went through it I was around that age and it's just like okay this is great it makes me feel like there's opportunities that there, and you could just escape that's what books are for you go into them that's what comic books are for that's what I guess people have been forgetting you go into the, the, the written word you go into movies you go into TV shows to forget your own troubles in life you don't go into them to recall your troubles in life or to relive your troubles in life. You go into them to forget it. But I absolutely did love Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The fact that he who must not be named, the fact that they hint all this stuff is very well placed. You can tell that later on that she didn't exactly know what she was doing, but she had a good idea of where everything was headed. It, it is funny though. I'm not going to get into the prequels. I'm not going to get into the prequels. But... Uh, I, I loved how the wizards had no clue. They had their, their way of dressing in robes. They had their way of dress that they had no clue how to dress like a muggle. They had no clue how muggles do things. The fact that they introduced that wizards had no clue about logic that's lost on them because they would use magic, which is, well, not, not logical at all. It makes no sense. So it kind of fit in that, in that one dialogue that Hermione said. It's just like, most wizards don't know anything about logic. Don't know, uh, and just like... That makes a lot of sense because it allows me as a reader as just to be able to imagine they even know that magic is ridiculous and makes no sense to the point where logic is what makes no sense. It, it's very, it, it really is captivating. Uh, and it's not so much for the journey as it is for just the story itself. It's fun to read, uh, read these characters going through their day-to-day -day lives in a wizarding world. That's all it's really about. It's not about anything else. It's not about taking down Lord Voldemort because it's basically, I know, and it's, yeah, it's one of those things where she introduces later on, it's just like, oh, this is just easier writing. It's the, the thing that was basically fated to happen. He chose the one who was either going to be Neville Longbottom or Harry Potter. But the book is fun. 
It's entertaining. It's, that's all you really need to go to it for, to escape everything else. And it captivates you right there. It's kind of aggravating, though, that they made all these monuments in, uh, to Harry Potter. And I was just like, that kind of takes away the realism. It took away the, the fact that a kid could walk towards the nine and three quarters and just hope he could walk through. No, there's a cart now glued to it. It's stuck there. It's just like, come on. It did take that trolley out. Yeah, but it's just like, I, the book is absolutely worth it. Uh, it's worth reading. The movie really does capture the book pretty well. The fact that they kept trying to hide uh, Harry Potter from the letters. They tried to keep him away. They it, Everything there just seemed to really fit. The fact that he made friends, Hagrid's eagerness to have a dragon. A lot of little things that are just... It, it, it introduces a lot because it's like dragons are real. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, trolls are real. All these little things. Just like, how is it that we don't see them in the natural muggle world? How come? That, that's strange. <laughs> yeah, but definitely worth a read. Absolutely perfectly done, I feel, especially from the start. It, it's all about just hooking your reader. If you've hooked your reader, you're, you're set. You're set. That's, that's all that matters. That's all that really matters because people will get, give it the trudging commitment if they were hooked at the very beginning. Thank you all for watching. Definitely give Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Apprentice, the, the uh, Philosopher's Stone, a read if you haven't. Don't bother going to the movies. Those because if you've read the books, and I know, I know the joke is uh, what, what the, the joke is. Uh, how do you know if someone's read the books? Don't worry, they tell you. Yeah, because. The, the, the case is, it's just better. It just is better. And we want, like the, the people who've read the books are like, why are you settling? Don't settle. Go for the epicness. Go for the great story. Don't just, yeah. But that, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles.